I'm talking about rockets right now. Three space travelers, including a NASA astronaut, are on their way to the International Space Station this morning. I wonder if they listen to this song while they're on their way up there. They blasted off from Kazakhstan overnight. This event makes for a great learning experience for all of our distance learners at home right now. And that's why we brought in Michigan Science Center educator Anna Sterner joining us now with a lesson in how rocket fuel works and we've got some experiments we're going to have fun this morning anna thanks so much for being here yeah thank you so much how exciting i didn't know this morning that i was actually going to be over on the west coast yeah exactly glad to have you here let's talk about the michigan science center you guys are keeping kids entertained keeping them informed a great science lesson here happening today yeah yeah so we um host echo live programming every single weekday at 2 30 p.m eastern which is 11 30 a.m pacific time um so these programs are live on the internet we host them over the michigan science center's facebook page and every day we talk about different live science experiments um, where the audience can actually join us in real time using the chat feature so um, we're very, very excited about the lesson today because on the way, like you mentioned, to the space station this morning, um, NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy um, is actually taking with him a Michigan Science Center patch um, that he'll actually cool. take a picture of himself up in the cupola um, orbiting over Earth. And then when he returns back down to Earth in about six months, we actually get to have it and put it on display at the Michigan Science oh, Center Oh, that's as well. great. That's great. So you guys are a, a part of this history making that's happening here today. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about um, today's, so obviously the rocket's taking off today. There's science behind that that's super neat that our kids can learn a little bit about here today, and you have an experiment to show us about that. Yeah, I actually have a two experiments here. Okay. Um, so the first one we're going to show off is kind of what a rocket engine really looks like. So um, we fuel rocket engines with a combustion reaction. So obviously we need some sort of fuel. Mm -hmm. um, so what I've just poured inside our water jug here is some ethanol. Um, which is a pretty good fuel. It's not commonly used in rockets, um, especially not in rockets that we launch to the space station. It's a little bit of a hazard for explosions, um, but we can actually use this as a good example of a fuel and show you more of what this rocket engine might look like. Okay. Um, so if you watch a rocket launch live, um, it's very, very exciting. Um, it's kind of a life-changing experience. I know it was for me when I saw it for the first time, um, but really all we're doing in order to generate that thrust to lift the rocket up off the ground um, is using that combustion reaction, which we have right here inside this jump. Um, we'll do it in three, two, one. Oh, that was amazing. And you, I mean, you dumped all that ethanol out and that was still inside there. Yeah, so really what we're looking for is those combustible vapors. We really want the gases that are left inside after I pour out that excess liquid. Liquids aren't super flammable. They're actually pretty hard to ignite, um, especially ethanol. Um, but in rocket engines, we actually more commonly use things like hydrogen, liquid hydrogen combined with liquid oxygen in order to really generate the amount of thrust we need. So I actually do have some hydrogen with me as well, which is why I have this um, bit of soapy water here. Um, so. Our hydrogen, to keep it safe, we've got it here inside this inflatable planet. Um, if you are familiar with your planets, you might recognize that this one is Jupiter. Yep. Um, it's got the big red spot on it. See that. Um, we don't send a lot of spacecraft to Jupiter because it's so, so far away. Right. Um, but for this one, we're going to use our hydrogen as our source of fuel. Okay. Um, so this is a type of experiment that you might get to see if you do tune in to Echo Live on the Michigan Science Center's Facebook page um, every day. We're very, very lucky that we can host these programs uh, for free, thanks to our sponsors like Exalta Coding Systems. Um, they really want to keep the learning going at home while everyone's off school um, and maybe just looking to do some science fun at home. Um, so we've got our hydrogen bubbles here inside uh, our soapy water. Um, and I'm actually going to hold this reaction in my hand this time. Okay, let's see it. Um, it's a little dangerous, but to be extra safe, I'm going to make sure I get my hand uh, nice and wet, insulated with that water. i uh, make sure that I've got my hand nice and wet. That way I can't actually be burned by this reaction once it goes off. Dry my other hand that I'm going to use to ignite our bubbles. Awesome. And so this is a hydrogen explosion. Okay, let's this see is more it. similar to the fuels we actually use in rockets. So we're going three, two, one. Whoa! That was cool. Yeah, super combustible stuff, right? Yeah, Anna, that is cool stuff. Thanks so much for sharing with us. Where can people learn more about that and other experiments? Some people want to be doing some of this fun stuff at home, maybe not with the fire, but um, there's still yeah, a lot of fun things we can do. Yeah, right? So if you want to see fire um, or explosions or things like that, um, check out the Michigan Science Center's Facebook page at 1130 uh, a.m. Pacific every single weekday. But if you're looking for experiments you can try at home, check out the Michigan Science Center's website as well. We're always posting activities and experiments that are safe to try at home. 
um, using materials you probably already have. That's good stuff. Thanks, Anna. Really appreciate that. It's going to be fun stuff for the kids. Yeah, we'll hope to see there. you guys all later. All right. Thanks for that.